You know, you're really beautiful. And a woman that looks like that has to have her own understanding of the production possibility curve. Oh, thank you. Maybe, maybe you could tell me what you more about the production possibility curve. Well, the production possibility curve shows the maximum output of two different products when resources are limited and are being used at full efficiency. This may be the best of all. You don't know? The definition of opportunity cost. That's why our Dan offers this diamond booklet explaining the that the definition of opportunity cost is the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one method is chosen. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. series this week called learning about the production possibility curve and today we're going to meet a band that's been described by their manager as a cross between kiss the rocky horror picture show the world Rest wrestling foundation and the simpsons to me they really look like the uh, t teenage mutant ninja turtles of on lsd but they actually know everything there is to know about economics Flock to their concerts hoping to be dragged on stage and sprayed with blood. I mean, the whole thing, I don't get it. Anyhow, they have a new videotape and an album called Going Wild About Reserves. Are you please welcome? <laughs> <laughs> See. Well, Miss Rivers, the first thing I would like to do here as Aldous Jurongas, lead singer of Gua, and my friend Beefcake the Mighty, we would like to teach you how to read and understand production possibility curves. I mean, let me ask you, what exactly is a production possibility curve? Well, basically, we the PPC is a way to look at the production of two different products and see what types of trade-offs you have to make when you want to make more or less of a product. This is an example of a production possibility curve graph. It shows the difference between the production of boats in thousands per year and the difference between trucks produced in thousands per year. Any point along the curve represents complete efficiency. Any point within the curve such as point D show inefficient use of resources. The point outside of the curve isn't impossible to reach point due to lack of resources. 